Hello guys, welcome to Money Machine. My name is Oviola Jumo. And today we are going to be reviewing airtime. Is airtime legit or it's a scam? So as we go into this, we're going to be discussing a lot of things um, about airtime. For me, I have done over 5,000 transactions on airtime. And I have never been scammed on airtime with over 5,000 transactions and different payment methods. I was once a cashier with them, so I know some things about them. So I'm going to be talking about you being scammed on airtime. How is it possible to be scammed on airtime? It is true that some persons are getting scammed on airtime. Yes. And how is that possible if airtime is legit? Sure, airtime is legit, but people are getting scammed. So there are two ways to get scammed. One of the ways is to allow yourself to be vulnerable, yeah. And the second way, we're going to discuss that later. So let's talk about this. For instance, you want to add funds to your airtime account. And then you finish sending the money. And um, there's a space there that talks about um, receipt number or anything. Then you click on confirm sent. Some persons forget to... You know, type in the numbers and then click on confirm send or just write send and confirm send, okay? And the cashier on the other hand will be able to confirm the transaction. Even without you clicking send, he can confirm the transaction. But by clicking send, it tells him that you have sent the money. So he needs to go and check his bank or anything that he's holding, any payment method that he's having to check the balance, okay? So when you check the balance and find out that, okay, the money is there, he comes to confirm. But when you send the money and refuse to or forget to click on send, what happens is that the transaction after some hours or an hour or 30 minutes, it gets canceled depending on the payment method. And when it gets canceled, the USDC that was in escrow service returns back to the cashier and then the transaction is cancelled. You can no longer chat that cashier up that you have sent the money and he also cannot reach you that please send your account or let me refund the money. Or he may not even notice because there may be larger amounts of money entering his account and that your transaction may not be noticeable for a long while. Okay, so now you need to click on confirm send. Now, you may have made the mistake of sending without clicking on confirm send. What you do is to chat up, send an email to support at airtime, um, at airtime, the support airtime. Now, this also is very important. When you send them an email, follow up the email and be patient with them. Now, people say airtime, um, now we'll go back to the other one. Now, withdrawal also, I have had cases personally. I had cases um, last week I returned and decided to do some little work with that time and something happened I was trying to um, I was doing normal cashier service and um, this person came in that she needed to withdraw a USDC I accepted the transaction and in seconds she confirmed the transaction meaning that the USDC is now in my account okay but as a good person, I had to tell her, okay, um, send, because if the transaction is not canceled, you have 24 hours of chat. So you can still chat for the next 24 hours. But if the transaction was canceled, there's no way to chat anymore. So I chatted her, oh, please send your account to the details. And this, she did send them. And then, you know, I was able to settle it and pay her up. So the same thing applies to add or withdraw. So if you can keep up to these things, you will not be scammed. Now, the second level of uh, people saying is uh, airtime legit or a scam is the fact where your account say blocked, okay? Blocked or verification. There are several reasons your account come to that essence of being blocked or you cannot move funds or verification. Now, airtime has three stages of verification. We have the first one, which is 1,000, the second one, which is 25,000, and the other one, which is unlimited. All right, and they call that the advanced dashboard. So, so now when you hit your limit of one thousand, they ask you for another verification, and most people don't uh, are not able to get that verification right. Okay, 
you're not able to get verification right there like how do i get verified and if you cannot get verified this is one thing you have you can do you can tell at time i have um i have an account i have someone who is a verified account who is my friend and can help me withdraw this money please send the money because i do not have the documents to verify that account and in one week the money will be sent to that person's account and the person will convert it to nera or convert it to whatever currency that you have and then send it to you so i have withdrawn money from persons i know from pers for persons i do not know there was a message um, from someone who was working with remote action he messaged me and said okay he had some funds in some account that is blocked and she ne he needed to withdraw it and i gave him my email after some days about three to seven days they sent it and i converted it to nera and i sent it to the person so that's one of the ways to you know fix that and there are issues where your account is blocked all right when the other party reports like we were talking about the first time when i said um you add and you forgot to click confirm send and then and the other person is like okay my money is being held what do i do and then he sent a message to support when support look at the evidence is put in they limit your account and sometimes this happened um the supports are not anglophones so sometimes they don't speak good english so they don't even understand you most of the time so you have to be patient with them i want to say this after years of working with um, airtime i discovered some of them do not understand english as much as we understand english all right so they may have some technicalities understanding you and therefore delaying you but stand on your pot point try to be as simple as possible in your delivery in your emails to them and then you might get your account you will get your account unblocked if you had not done anything wrong but if you have done anything wrong you will have to recompense that money you may have to send that money to that person and if you are not an advanced um, person, an advanced cashier, and they don't block your account like that, okay? They, they send you an email telling you, such so, a so, so person has said this because they know you are always around and they need to fix it. And then you just respond and say, okay, 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 let me check. And then you check and then several times it, ha it has happened to me like that. They send an email and I check. So, okay, yes, this is the issue. And I go ahead to settle the issue amicably with the party. And then we are done. The support just, we just finish the matter like that without my account being blocked. So, if your account is blocked for whatever reasons, communicate with them. Don't, they are your guys. One of the best customer service I have seen, even though they do not allow calls, is airtime support. I have never called airtime support or I emailed airtime support for anything any problem i had that they never offered solution or help to the best they can offer me and and i think that's the best way i feel about them so when i go and i see comments like um, my account is blocked i was scammed by item i know it's not true having five thousand to seven thousand transactions i have friends that have fifteen thousand twenty one thousand transactions I know ATM itself as a company does not scam its people. Okay. You are not just doing the right thing. Okay. You email them and get this issue settled. And now they have this for working, time for working. I think 6 to 10 p.m. using their own time. Whether Philippines, I don't know. 6 to 10 p.m. daily. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I think um, 8 to 4 p.m okay so when you email and they are not responding at a particular time they will respond at another particular time when they get your email they will respond i'm saying that you cannot be scammed on airtime okay that's all i'm saying just my enjoy uh, enjoy airtime airtime is a free place make your money withdraw to airtime so i'm going to be dropping my link again if you've not created your airtime account please create and if you want to know how to withdraw or add the video, I'll put the link to the video on this video so that you can get that 
to know how to withdraw or add from mm -hmm. my time. But I believe this review is, uh, is a better one. Mm -hmm. See you.